Tell you what, guys, uh, I've been, uh, looking at, like, this, uh, YouTube studio page here a little bit here, and, uh, just, kind of just doing some digging around, and, uh, you know, I've been steadily growing, just a little bit. Uh, actually, throughout the whole course of this year, I, my viewership has actually grown very steadily. I'm mean, like, uh, you guys are awesome, by the way. Uh, I, but, you know, uh, st still small small town youtuber uh i just figured i'd uh, look over the screen here for a little bit and uh i you can see exactly that uh my video recording schedule based off of like uh my my order of content here uh you can see that uh i've got this is the most recent short that i posted here this is always going to be like the, the latest and greatest video and uh you can see that uh four of ten all right it's not like the greatest uh, but uh you can see where it gives you, like, uh, latest comments, latest subscribers. Uh, if I just go into analytics here just real quick and uh, just see how you guys are finding me. It would seem that, uh, of course, you guys might have seen it in, uh, in like, other YouTuber videos where, like, they show this little box right here. Where it says, uh, not subscribed and subscribed. Uh, first of all, my metric in that regard is better than usual. But at the same time, we also know that's complete bullshit, because uh, if I scroll down, let's see, I spotted it earlier. Where is it? 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 Uh, I think it's in content here. You can see that most of my views are coming through impressions, which is about 34.8%. And, uh, you know, uh, how viewers find me, shorts feed, YouTube search, they're not finding me through, like, the subscriber page, so we all know that secretly the subscriber page is complete and utter bullshit. <laughs> Alright, there's, uh, there's a section in here somewhere that tells me that. Uh, as soon as I find it. But, you know, uh, this, uh, Hyperland video here, uh, the first Hyperland video and then the second Hyperland video still seeming to be, like, very popular. Still. And, uh... I guess you guys just really like Hyperland or something. I don't know. Uh, it, I thought... I think Hyperland's a pretty cool project, uh, but, you know, I kind of... I kind of want to give everything else, uh, a check before I determine if Hyperland is the best. Uh, obviously... It looks the prettiest. <laughs> uh, so, I don't necessarily fault him for that. And, uh, let's click, uh, the content button here. Uh, oh, yeah. I was checking to see, uh, copyrights here. Uh, you're gonna see this video today. Uh, we'll, we'll see how well that one works out. But if I just sort by views here. Uh, this Red Hat video that I posted... In the middle of last year still seems to be like a very popular uh basically what happens what happens with with the that series is i install the distro and then you know i use it for like a couple days and then i record a video with my thoughts on it which i think is pretty cool that a video that recent is getting is uh at 15,000 views which is pretty impressive because uh every, it falls off a cliff after that uh, like, this How to Clean the Playmat video, I posted that back in 2017, so it's just like, I'm not even really looking at that one, but that was back when this was a quote-unquote gaming channel. <laughs> and, uh, I guess, uh, with this GNOME video here, may maybe, just maybe, I should just make the channel of just nothing but Red Hat and GNOME content. <laughs> That's what it's kind of suggesting to me, but... Because, you know, I think I'm even using Gnome in this NixOS video. <laughs> but, you know, uh, people apparently like Hyperland a, a little bit more. Like, it seems to be drawing in a couple of viewers with 2,000 over the course of a month, which still nothing super impressive. But uh, I saw somewhere in here in the analytics where if I was looking through, like, uh, your guys' search terms. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Why does this show up here? I don't want... It wasn't showing up earlier. Uh... 
first seven day performance. It would seem that people like my uh, home lab, my little home lab short series where I was troubleshooting a server. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, I, d I do have that server up and running right now. I got a bunch of uh, those cheap little sat uh, PCI Express to SATA devices, and it's working. Uh, how have yours find it? YouTube search. I can look at at the search terms you guys are entering to be able to find my content. So if I look through here, uh, nope, I, I spotted it earlier. Where the hell is it? Like, uh, you get, I could literally look at your, the search terms you guys were using. My viewers searches. There we go. Uh, yeah. Apparently when you type in Arch Linux, you find my channel. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, so, but, you know, uh, kind of impressive, and Hyperland seems to be growing, as well as Gen 2, Void Linux, Gen 2 Linux, and Slackware, because apparently people like my Slackware video. Uh, so if I just, uh, click it, that gives me a search term, and, uh, I'm, like, number three, where I, where I talk about Slackware. Uh, actually, you know what, let's just, uh, see, see if we can find that video. So type into filter Slackware, and uh, we'll just look at the analytics because I already know what the comments look like. And uh, that video it starts off strong and just and then you know it just falls right off a cliff. So apparently I did do a very good job. Uh, you only watch like a quarter of the video before you quit watching it, which supposedly it should be like right about here, about this far into the video. So, uh, I'm sorry my retention, my retention back then sucked. It probably still sucks. But, uh, and then, you know, if I click on the comments here and just, uh, scroll through it. Uh, yeah. Uh. I don't know if Slackware is the easiest to install and use Linux distro. Uh, maybe if you maybe if you already knew, knew what you were doing, but uh, you know, uh, there were a couple comments in here were saying that hey, I need to learn how to use Slackware, and it's like, well, I kind of know how to use Slackware. It's just I don't care to learn how to use Slackware. You know. <laughs> But anyways, uh, it's been kind of a cool past year or so. Uh, obviously, obviously, I can go down here, click the earn button, and it'll tell me that I'm not qualified. In fact, I just need to reach a thousand, a uh, thousand subscribers before, uh, you know, I even get that join button on YouTube, which I expect to make absolutely no money off of whatsoever. Uh, I'm just gonna clarify that right now, because, uh, you know, it'd be cool to make like five or six dollars. But I'm not really going to expect to, like, get any kind of monetization going anytime soon. So that's why you don't see me plugging, like, a merch store. If anything, I just say, hey, if you want to send me stuff, there's a link in the description down below. Which, by the way, there is a link in the description down below. <laughs> it, it, it'll it uh, take you to my sponsors page, which, uh, you know, if we go to uh, my sponsors page. I, I do want to see if, like, I can clean this page up a little bit here and, you know, get, like, an actual picture but you know uh when you g if you guys get me anything i'm gonna call you a sponsor because uh that that's how it is but you know i've got two guidelines i've got corp corporate sponsorship guidelines and community sponsorship guidelines and you know these are my rules for like anybody that wants me to review a thing and like uh, or make a video or a thing make me a video series in partnership of a thing or, you know, they just want to give me something in, in compensation for, like, a video. These are my simple rules. It's six, six rules. But, of course, if you're the community, like, uh, I've got uh, a LibrePay link, a uh, PayPal thing, and an Amazon wish list, which uh, I, I haven't clicked these links in a while, so I don't even know if they still work. So, yeah, like, uh, I've got this here where you can see I make, unfortunately, nothing. Uh, I've also got this where you can just bulk send me pay money on PayPal if, uh, you prefer PayPal. And then, you know, you can buy me shit. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, be careful about buying me books. 
I've actually already got a lot of books, if you, you've seen the shelf behind me. So, uh, I think I've got a bookshelf on here. So, if you're going to buy me more books, please buy me the bookshelf first. I, I actually do need a bookshelf. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really just, uh, scrolling through here and just looking at the analytics of this week. Because, you know, uh, instead, uh, I was going to be making, like, a video about playing Blu-rays on Linux through a, through MPV, but, uh, I can't seem to get it working right now. I got it working, like, a couple days ago, but, uh, I'm, I'm digging through it, but the, uh, Gen 2 documentation for that is a lot better for ripping the DVDs than playing the DVDs. And I can make a video about ripping DVDs using Make MKV, but you know there are so many other content creators that have done that in a lot better fashion than I can. So I'm just going to leave you to uh, type in "ripping Blu-rays on Linux" in your YouTube search bar, and you will probably find it no problem whatsoever. In fact, I think uh, Jeff Gearling has like the best video on it, <laughs> where uh, he he's talking about uh, ripping DVDs to put onto his jellyfin. That way, you know, uh, he he can watch it. Uh, that. Because, you know, he's sick and tired of the streaming services, which, I'll be honest with you, I use a DSL internet connection. I can't even watch a 1080p stream on, on a non-YouTube playback service. So, uh, of course, I'm going to buy, like, Blu-rays like the, the Ruby Trilogy. Because, you know, Crunch, Crunchyroll's uh, CDN actually really, really, really sucks. So, it, it's probably, it's easy, it's honestly time-wise cheaper for me just to like buy the $20 pack of DVDs and uh, just rip them all onto my computer. Which, yes, I did buy this. Uh, do I need to pull up like, my Amazon purchase history just to prove that to you and everything? Uh, so, Richard Teeth, if you want to sell me over like copyright infringement about me talking ab about me ripping your Blu-rays, uh, I am protected under U.S. Uh, copyright laws. Laws that, like there's court cases from like back in the 90s concerning VCR players that have the capability of recording and everything. I'm, uh, they haven't been repealed yet, and they apply to all forms of recording. So anything that I can I can visibly see on a screen here is my legal right to record that. It's not my legal right to share it. So of course I'm not going to. I'm not. Honestly, it's Ruby. You can find super cuts of it on YouTube. So just watch those. Anyways, guys. Uh, just a quick little video here for you, recorded, recorded, and, uh, you know, I just, th I'm probably just gonna pipe the audio at most through Audacity just to clean it up and then send it out to you, because, you know, we're, li we're lazy. But anyways, guys, I'm glad to see that my, my channel's been growing very steadily. We've been growing somewhere around, uh, 30 to 40 subscribers per month, and, uh, we're on the path to a thousand uh, by the end of the year. Uh, probably going to, projected wise, I'm going to pass it by the end, by the end, probably about October to November, unless like I really fall off a cliff. If uh, you know we keep steadily growing as we are, but uh, I've been doing this thing this week where uh, we're recording the daily videos, and uh, I'm also already kind of. Uh, Running a little short on ideas because you know every every single video I want to make somebody's already done a video on. So I guess we're just going to be doing more vlog style, home lab videos. I guess. You know where I might occasionally, or more like vlog style, Linux user stuff. Unless, like, you guys really want the Gen 2 content, because it seems like the it seems like you guys really like this Gen 2 video. Uh, you know, if I just go over here and click the comments and, uh, you know, just scroll through it, and, uh, you know. This is not the first time I've seen this one. Who is Trevor Phillips? GTA fandom. There's a Sir Trevor Phillips, but I assume that they're more referring to this one. Um,
Give me a second here. Pull up the OBS preview window. Guess side by side. Really, guys? Really? I just don't get it. The hair on it, on the top of his head is a little bit thicker than mine. 